a huge question I keep getting asked is how do you change your UI? How do you move your HUD around? Um, and in this video, I'm going to do my best to explain to you how and why I've set mine up the way I've set it up and then how you can set yours up. But before we get into that, um, if you're new here, welcome. My name's Danny. We live and game and stream in this off-road camper van. So one of the biggest things I keep telling people when you start playing Throne Liberty is one, spend a lot of time on your settings and two, customize your HUD. The reason being is the HUD default isn't bad, but you can really improve your enjoyment in the game by changing that. And secondly, the settings. It's very, very important you spend a lot of time in your settings. There's a, there's a link down in below somewhere um, for your settings if you want to have a look at those. But these are really important because the defaults that they give us they just they just suck <laughs> they just suck so what we're going to do now is we're going to show you the hud that i've got you will be able to just download it if you want there'll be a link in the description below and also a written article to help you figure out more if you need um, but let's jump into the game quick and we will take a quick look at the hud that i've got and why i've got it laid out that way now i play primarily this game for pvp but i absolutely love the pve stuff as well um we're just chilling in castleton it's a few days after the official launch we've had the early access now we've got the official launch and all these new players are starting to pop in and it's absolutely buzzing and i i, I hope it stays this way um but with regards to the hud quick tldr if you don't want to sit through the video escape or f11 whatever the menu is edit hud boom this is where you change everything now what you'll probably end up doing is changing this over time so you'll be like oh uh, you change it oh i don't like this there boom move it a little bit here oh i actually don't like my skills below oh let's just cringe it and put it at the top and you'll figure this out as you go on so everything that you're going to see in this video is my personal preference what i've found that i like and i've got used to so if we go into our hud here um, this is the screen you're going to see. This is your main uh, sort of movement screen, and then everything else is around it. So you can pick and move and start to move <laughs> literally everything. I really hope this doesn't this doesn't save. This will not be saved. Okay, great. <laughs> so you can pick up and move everything. Now, what I've done is I've left the map top right. That's absolutely fine there. I've left the uh, the chat bottom left. But what I have done is, you can see I've moved my skill bar up. Now, what I find, both in PvE and PvP, is that when the skill bar is along the bottom, I'm not used to so many skills. So, my brain kept forgetting which ones I've used, which ones were not in rotation. I end up spamming them a lot, and I don't particularly remember which ones I'm on, yada, yada, yada. So, for me, having this, having my, my skill bar quite close to my character... The character is normally quite close to the enemy, whether that's a PvP player or a PvE boss. You can see which ones you're using. So I know now that that one's on cooldown. That one's now on cooldown. My buffs are now on cooldown. I can see that without like looking too far away. You know, I'm getting, getting a bit on. I'm a little bit washed up. Keep this close. Um, I've moved the, uh, the healing pots or your consumables, whatever you have on here, to the bottom, as well as these ones as well. These ones you just don't use as much. And what I found, if I had them um up the top here they were just sort of cluttering it up for me i much preferred them sort of being down down below <laughs> um there we go we've just uh changed it there now what you would have just seen is you can load presets um so once you've had a little play around if you don't find it helpful for you we can jump into the presets but just quickly um i've moved my like sort of kill feed on the right i've used i've moved my um loot just on the right there my characters are just on the left and for me personally my party feed is further on the left that's because because i'm not healing so much i don't really care to see them and because i stream on twitch quite a bit well you can see actually my camera's here um i have the bars just above my head and chat is normally just above us on here um, so this works quite well for me and then finally we've put character names at the top so again because um, I just don't care so much to see them normally because I'm the party leader the character uh, like the, the enemy names and guild names whatever uh, are at the top as well um, I personally again don't use the astral vision so I've just thrown that top left um, one thing to move probably is the important, important message system. That's where everyone's getting loot. Ding, 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 ding. It's bloody annoying. Just move that to the bottom of your screen. Um, but anyway, just quickly onto this. You can upload 
uh, a file. Now, what I'll do is I'll put a link in the description below to a page where you can get my preset should you wish to use this as a starting place to then move move around to what suits you personally. Now, what you're going to need to do is um, download the download the AZJ file, which is their HUD file, HUD file, and then put that file into your TL folder. Now, it's going to be somewhere like users backslash dan backslash your 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 computer name for backslash documents backslash tl backslash user hud so for me it's quite simple we'll just go back a little bit so um, in your documents folder tl user hud and then you need to drop the file in here once the file is in there you'll head back into the game and then you'll just simply need to pick it from the file and then click load and that will bring it in for you um that's it short and sweet i don't want to keep blabbing on there's no need to if you found this useful as always leave a comment leave a like it really helps grow the channel and um, i really appreciate your support it's really cool um jump on twitch come say hi if you've got any more questions i've tried my best to just keep this mega short and sweet so you don't need to faff about listening to things you don't listen to boot listen to um i will answer any questions that you you have um, but again, as always, if you if you do have any suggestions or if there's anything I've missed, leave it in the comments below, please, um, which might help somebody else. And enjoy Throne and Liberty. Make sure you play through the entire campaign and story if you're not uh, going crazy with your guild. It's a good game. <laughs> I'm not just saying that. It's genuinely a good game. And I'll see you in game and uh, come and stream snipe me and kill me because uh, it's just brilliant fun.